Welcome back to the Nob Gospel Show on your favorite channel CFI RLM TV. I've been your host and Hassan. NIV. Yeah, and today, as we promised you earlier, we're gonna we're gonna be having one of the best artists in Uganda right now. Yeah, yeah her name is Annabella. Annabella. <laughs> yes, please. How are you doing? I'm good. How is How that? You guys? Ah, we are fine. We are fine. How is Kampala? Kampala is good. We are getting ready for election. Oh, for election. Oh. Uh, when is it happening? Next year or this year? Next year in January. In January. Oh. Good. That's great. That's great. So, uh, who who is Annabella? Annabella, I'm a good artist from mm -hmm. Uganda. Mm -hmm. You dance for music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my name's by profession. Mm -hmm. I started music last year in June, so mm -hmm. I'm still new in the industry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, how many songs do you have so far? Songs. Songs. Yeah, so far I have five songs. Uh huh. One video. Yeah. Oh, so we are still waiting for the other videos. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh. You are the number one top 10 countdown winner like uh, two weeks ago. How yeah. did you feel? So happy. I was so, so, so happy. Yeah, I didn't expect it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it happened. My friends were the ones who told me, ah, we have to make your song number one. I was like, okay, you guys. <laughs> So, how does it feel to have fans both in Uganda and in Kenya? Because we are your fans here. Well, it feels so good. You feel like, yeah, you're in the right place and doing the right thing. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And I forgot to tell you, like, she's always your number one fan. <laughs> wow, thank yeah. you so much. She, she has yeah, to I'm play. Yeah. She, ha she must play. Nanjala song. Every time you are in the studio, Nanjala song must be played first before we host the show. So, so, thank you so much, dear. Uh, you're welcome. So, tell us about that song. What does it mean? Uh, Nyanjala is a Luganda word. Mm -hmm. It means giving it all to God or to like giving yourself to something. Mm -hmm. In this case, I was giving myself unto God, opening up to Him, knowing that He's the one with everything that I need in life. Oh. Yeah. So, how do you find your? Where do you find your motivation uh, on writing your own songs? Uh, there are some young artists who inspired me mostly to start doing music. But on top of that, I also had the passion inside of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the first international interview you are doing right now. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm so privileged and so humbled to you guys. Thank uh -huh. you so much for the opportunity. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, uh, sometimes it is it feels good when your ministry takes you around the world and you find yeah. that uh, at least you are a blessing to one or two people's lives. Exactly. How do you feel like when uh, you are, you, your song is spread out of your country where on, in another country and uh, people are receiving it well? How do you feel? Actually, <laughs> I can't explain the feeling, but what I all know is you feel the glory. You give back glory to God because it's not easy to deliver something and people like it. Mm -hmm. So me, usually what I feel inside is like, oh, thank you. I just give back glory to God. Uh, so you said you started music in which year? Last year. June, June last year, 2019. Oh, so how have you been marketing your music uh, that it has reached up to our country, Kenya? <laughs> Actually, uh, I didn't do much. The major thing is taking the songs to the stations that you know mm -hmm. and connecting the few friends that you know in the industry. That's all I did. No. So you, you don't have uh, like connections in uh, 
international like in kenya i didn't but mm. i have a sister who is married there but really she didn't do anything about that uh-huh. only that there is a friend of mine who, who who got i think in touch with thunderson yeah uh, uh. okay yeah so um uh, uh, there's a question that uh, most most people normally want to know eh? and uh, now in this case now the the single man wants to know <laughs> is anabella taken or anabella is single <laughs> Annabella is still young. She's still single. <laughs> oh, Annabella is single. So, uh, my guys from Kenya now uh, will hit your will hit your inbox. <laughs> but not now, because Annabella is still concentrating on the music. Ah, you know they, they can just trade their luck. They might win or they might lose. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we should. <laughs> uh, so, Annabella. Which was your first song and uh, what drove you to write that song? Um, my first song is called Akwetaga mm-hmm. in, in Uganda, but in English it means you're needed <laughs> in English. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yes, and the reason I sang that song, I knew of my friends who were not Christian, mm-hmm. whom I wanted to communicate to, to come and join me in Christianity. So, uh, are there some challenges you go through, like you are a young person doing gospel music? Yeah, I also go through challenges, Mm -hmm. uh, being that I don't have a lot of connections, it's hard connecting with people, Uh, at times money is also a little bit hard to get, to Mm -hmm. spend, because everything about music is all about spending spending everywhere yeah Mm -hmm. so uh did uh this corona period make it worse seriously it made everything worse for some of us we Uh lost jobs yeah Uh so annabella how many swahili words do you understand I can't really count them, but I think I can hear some a little bit of Swahili when mm. someone is speaking. Oh, you know here you also know uh, Uganda, ne? Okay. Yeah, we know like Oli Otia, Morimotia, <laughs> Usibiotia. Um, yeah. Okay. So okay. <laughs> those are just greetings. <laughs> He's the only one who understands. For me, not yet. Okay. <laughs> so you can be our teacher, we be your teacher. I will teach you, no worry. <laughs> yeah, so um what are, what are the some of the things that you feel like uh, you can change in the youths of Uganda or in the youths around the world? Since now you are a youth and uh, you are doing ministry and as much as you are singing, uh, your songs mostly as I heard them, they are targeting the youth mostly, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, what what are the some of the things that you feel like the youth the youths should change, and um, you feel like when they change this and they follow this way is the right path? So, uh, w- what are some of the things? Uh, my major passion for the youth is I wish my major wish to the youth is I wish they could learn doing things in the right time and at the right moment because what usually destroys youth is because they want to achieve what they are not yet ready to achieve oh. so in, in so doing they end up messing up and regretting oh. but if I, I was given that platform I, w- I would love to talk to the youth about following the right steps and being patient mm. most of the things we do mm. yes i think that's the greatest greatest passion i have towards the youth uh. So, uh, do Ugandans mostly support like the local artists or the upcoming artists, and how? Um, I know of the few platforms that do that, but see that I'm still new. I'm still finding out new things every day, mm-hmm. and I, I hope as time goes, I will get to know more about that. Yeah, I saw you had a lyric video. 
Yeah. Yeah, so I want us to play the lyric video as we go for this uh, musical break. And then uh, we are about to come back again with the Annabella Wabs. Uh, at least we know a little bit more and more about you, right? All right. Yeah, so I want to tell these guys not to touch that knob. Then right. we come back with proceedings. This is the knob. Hey guys, we are back. Uh, this is the Nob Gospel Show. We are hosting a very important artist from Uganda. Anaitwa Annabella Wabs. Mse wa power. Uh, Annabella, what I mean is that you are a powerful artist. Or an important artist. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you are a powerful artist or important artist because this is the first virtual interview you are doing right now with the artist. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, I want you to tell us now uh, about you now, of music, uh, the, chal the challenges that you went through or uh, uh, until now when you got saved and how your life has transformed ever since you got saved and you came to Christ. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I grew up in a Christian family. My mother is a Christian, mm -hmm. and so she she took us to church as usual. We grew up from church, and she taught us the norms of Christianity. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you reach campus, you want to adventure and find out what is this they are stopping me from doing. Yeah. So I kind of lost the channel and joined some bad girls in, in, I wanted to know, to find out some things of my own. So I kind of went out from the Christianity line and messed up a little bit. Uh, so time came, I could pretend, I could attend church. I was a leader as well as at church, but my life wasn't really proper. I could fellowship in church but go out and do what was it right so same came i had a friend who called me for a seminar mm -hmm. i was a leader bible study leader so they organized a seminar somewhere for a youth and i was i was among the organizers so we went to that seminar and that's where i got my salvation from because all from childhood yes i was in church but i had never confessed in my heart so my life was really not living right in the line of christianity i had this in me that ah, i cannot accept the salvation thing because i thought salvation life is, is putting your life in some small box and put it somewhere yeah. you have limits to your life you can't enjoy the life because you're a christian, yeah, christian so, yeah. I didn't like those things, but then came, uh, I think God really wanted me. And when I went to that seminar, the teacher of the word had to communicate to my heart and I felt touched. <laughs> I had to pull out myself and confess truly that I'm now a Christian. So from then, that's when I got a calling music in me, that passion kept growing, growing every day. And see, like, I, I prepared one day and went to studio officially and started music. Oh. Yeah, in brief, that's the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, as, a, as a young Christian or as a, a youth, how do you feel when you are now saved and uh, you have just made up your mind, uh, you personally? Actually, right now I feel proud because I later on decided and did the right decision. Because if I was, if I remained that side, I think even now I wouldn't be alive. Yeah. Because the things I involved in were so deadly. My life coming home late, mm -hmm. losing till late hours. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go with people you even don't know. You know. Mm -hmm. But I thank God that later on he remembered me and called me back home. Mm -hmm. uh, and to ministry as well i'm so proud Amen. so like uh wh where do you want uh your music to be in like uh let's say five years worldwide i, I want my music to go worldwide i mm -hmm. want my message to reach every youth everywhere because in all places there are young people growing the young people who may not get the chance to get the the, the love the guidance, the right information when they are growing up. So I feel I want to be an icon in their life. Mm. 
So, uh, like, what message do you want uh, the people around the world to hear through your songs? Majorly, uh, I want to communicate to both the young, growing uh, people as well as the parents because there is a time when a parent is necessary, is needed so much in a person, in a child's life. Mm -hmm. Whereby some parents they neglect that period, they think you're supposed to find things on your own. So I I want my my message reach everyone, mostly the parents and their children. That's everybody I think. Yeah. Oh, that, that's awesome. And um, one thing I would urge you is just to continue doing what you are doing, like right now, uh, to the to your ministry. And my question is. Uh, Ever since you got saved, uh, do you normally put up an event or a camp for you to just talk with the youths or um, you just, uh, you, uh, the corona thing affected your plans? I, 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 I had such platforms and such opportunities, but I think I only attended one, but we are organizing, there's one I will attend to on 27 to this month. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I also plan to open up a YouTube channel that has such directives, such mm -hmm. teachings to the youth because I'm a teacher by, the, by calling mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So I believe I have something in store that I want to deliver to the young youth, those teenagers mostly who are just trying to find out life. Yeah. Amen. Okay, uh, so which Kenyan artist, gospel artist, do you admire and you want to do like a collab with? <laughs> I used, I grew up admiring Rosie Mohando. Mm -hmm. She's a Tanzanian. Tanzania. Tanzanian. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but she's a Kenyan. <laughs> but but uh, okay, most of her songs, she does them right now in Kenya. Yes, but there is another one. Uh -huh. His his song has gone out of my mind, but he has, I think. Oh. I didn't know you asked me this question. I've done an interview. I've have, I have done research about it. No. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> It's a, such a nice vibe, uh, vibing with you, Annabella Wabs. Uh, we, we, we were to do this interview like a few like a few weeks ago. First of all, you went missing, and I understand sometimes it's uh, all about work, and uh, I thank God at least you normally follow our shows. Uh, you are normally there commenting, uh, and as I normally read your comments, you are like a person who is always ready to learn, and a person who is always like ready to teach one to teach another person about your life experiences and uh, about everything. Uh, so, uh, what do you want uh, people to expect from Annabella Wabs comes 2021? <laughs> good music. They should expect good music. Good music. Hello, message. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, talking about uh, good music, how did you come up with the Nyanjala? Nyanjala, I, first of all, I, I made sure I get a good producer. Mm -hmm. And there is also a writer who also wrote the song. He's also good here in Uganda. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I, I wanted perfect things, nice things, people who have done things that are trending in the country. Oh. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you want to do for us a cappella for that song? Uh, it's okay if you yes, yes. Yeah. You, you can do it for us yeah go ahead in you in you god i put my trust i'm leaning on you my chance i call you god in you in you god i put my trust i'm leaning on you my chance i'll call you god <laughs> that is all in English because otherwise I'm in Uganda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a very nice song and uh here at the CFIR LM TV, we normally support the artists and we normally support talents. So whenever you have any song, 
drop it here at the first. We'll always announce the song and we'll always play the song. We love good songs, we love good music. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, so uh, this is what I normally say, support the local talents or support the local artists because even your favorite artist was once a local artist. We are now live with our artist here. Her name is Annabella Wabs, one of the most promising artists I know so far. Uh, just almost, just like a year in the music industry, and she has done wonders with her ministry, and she has done wonders in her uh, in her career. So, if you are out there watching us like right now live, go to Annabella Annabella Wabs ch YouTube channel, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'm telling you this for free. You're gonna enjoy this for sure. Yeah. So, Annabella, yes, uh, kindly give us your social media handles. Um, I use Annabella Wabs everywhere mm -hmm. on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I use Annabella. Yeah. Annabella Wabs. Then my WhatsApp number is zero, uh, plus two five six. six. Seven five five eight five eight nine one seven. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for finding time to talk uh, talk with us. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So till we meet again next time, the same place, same time, and uh, we are very much honored and humbled to host you today. I know at least this uh, your interview today has made uh, two or three people learn about some, some few things about you. There are certain things that uh, maybe I also didn't know about you and at least right now I've known. So I'm very much honored and very much humbled on behalf of my entire team. Uh, some of them could not fit here right now <laughs> but uh, we are very much humbled and honored to have you. And uh, may God bless you and may God keep you alive as you spread this word and as you spread the ministry. Yeah, so thank you. See you next time.